Om Shanti, today is your 103rd day of your beautiful meditative Vardhan. And in this beautiful Vardhan, God teaches us one method to be detached from this body, detached from worldly desires, be detached from conditions outside so that our mood doesn't get affected by things outside at all, whether they are good or bad. So how do we function in that way? How does the mind be totally detached that while seeing we don't get affected, while listening we don't get affected? So how can we be so detached? God has a way, has a method. He remains completely detached from birth and death, from sorrow and happiness. And he teaches us the same method. His mind and his thoughts is the knowledge which we attain. And once we think about that knowledge, we automatically become powerful in our own mind. Because we are matching the way of God's thinking, of his intellect. And he comes in. He shares that deep knowledge which we don't have and now in Brahma Kumaris we get that knowledge and we become more and more powerful and peaceful every day by practicing that knowledge. Just having the knowledge is enough. Having the knowledge at the same time practicing it is very important especially in spirituality. So let's see what Baba has to say. <music> says may you finish all type of dependency on people and on things even on this body we try to take pleasures of the five senses of this body and the soul becomes dependent and becomes weaker day by day the more we have desires the more the willpower reduces because there is either soul power or there is body power and this world is mostly focused on <clears throat> body power or power of the things and the post and the position and the money and many other things that is bodily power and nobody can become stable in their mind and peaceful by having focus on that bodily power. So the mind has to be diverted towards the spiritual powers which we learn at Brahma Kumaris and taught by God the Father himself because God is the only purest being in the whole world except everybody else in the whole world because we are all souls in Kalyuk and everybody has some form of desires to live to survive. Even the gurus, even the sons, even the saints, even your Rishi Munis all have desires to survive. Only God is the one who doesn't have any desires to survive in this world because he is bodiless beings so only. He can teach us the definite ways or he can define those ways which can make us powerful and peaceful and stronger day by day. So Baba says, may you finish all types of dependency with your complete and perfect stage. God is always in a perfect and complete stage. That's why he is the purifier. He doesn't get attracted or greedy for things and other things. We might be giving something and offering something in the church or in the temples in the name of God. But does God have that? Does God even think about getting that money or the fruits which we offer? No, he doesn't need all those things. That's why he's independent. So Baba says he's not dependent. He teaches us the knowledge of being independent. So may you finish all types of dependency with your complete and perfect stage and become a conqueror of matter. So mind over matter. When you remain stable in your complete and perfect stage, you will experience victory. That is, you will experience a right over matter. That means I will be having my thoughts which are not getting affected by material world or the things around me. Whether it's a new phone, whether it's a new bike, whether it's a new car, whether it's a new house, whether it's anything new, new clothes. Something happens to them, I won't be affected by them. And I won't be blaming anybody else. I won't be out of my mind trying to blame or trying to find ways to take revenge or in any other way. So because those things become make me have my mind get weaker and matter takes over the mind. So then Baba says, there cannot be any type of dependency in the complete and perfect stage of the soul. However, in order to, for you to make your stage complete and perfect, there have to be three things at the same time, not just different times and different powers, but at the same time, all these powers have to be there. First, spirituality. I have to consider myself as a soul and be detached from bodily things and bodily relationships. Detached doesn't mean that you don't take care of them, you don't love them, but you give them spiritual love. A way of getting or giving love is giving gifts and making people happy. So they become happy for a moment and suddenly something happens to those things or the mood changes because of something outside situation changes 
and that is a temporary way but the gifts of the soul are permanent knowledge is permanent physical gifts aren't permanent so are we making our children are we making our friends are we making our loved ones dependent or independent think about it so spirituality or spiritual love is different the vision of the eye that means the third eye starts looking at everybody as a soul instead of looking at everybody through these two eyes and trying to touch, judge them so baba says judge them on spirituality that means everybody is my child see them with those qualities which i have given to them forget about their defects otherwise those defects will become a part of your mind when you focus too much on other people's defects so spirituality has to be there so that your mind is powerful and matter and material things and people don't affect you second thing is spiritual intoxication if you are sometimes in spiritual intoxication sometimes you are in body consciousness sometimes you are soul conscious that's the time where the complete stage becomes unstable and sometimes you'll be happy sometimes your mood will be off and that happens in spirituality also provided we are spiritually awakened and we stay awake all the time that means we are in conditioned manner connected with god all the time we are conditioned to it so that is like in army also you have a drill where you are conditioned to certain behaviors that even while sleeping if somebody says jai hind or if somebody salutes you you start saluting that person while you are sleeping too so that should be the condition that you are always in connection with god you are always in a spiritual intoxication so second thing is spiritual intoxication and the third is the virtue of being merciful if i am engaged in my own issues always contemplating what why this why that that means i am thinking mostly about worldly issues and god has given me spiritual powers to overcome those issues issues will be there but i can either take care of them through physical power through money power through post and position power or i can take care of them through spiritual powers choices with me so god says meditation helps you in that so the virtue of being merciful i can only be merciful if i am not focused on my issues and i focus on other people's issues and helping them out overcome those issues so automatically my own burdens become lighter day by day so baba says that always be in a service mode that is being merciful when these three things are visible in your form in your stage one is spirituality second is spiritual intoxication and third is being merciful that means serving other souls to come out of their issues then what happens in your stage on your face it looks looks like that on your face or you're not cringed by somebody's problems when they are focusing or they're talking about the problem and you are like you're like you cringed or you're like oh it's enough i have taken enough how much should i listen to this issue and all so that's the time when you are not spiritual or you're not merciful so baba says and in your actions too that you act accordingly you give your time accordingly for service for helping others you would then be said to be a soul who has all rights and is a conqueror of matter only when you can help others to be detached from their physical issues or the physical problems or the physical dependencies that's the time you can yourself be detached from it that's what god says so i leave you with this beautiful vardan think over it how much are we dependent and how much are we independent and are we spiritual or aren't we spiritual enough to be detached from worldly things I leave you with this beautiful word then stay safe stay home and have a beautiful day om shanti